Hey yo, what's up guys and welcome to my new tutorial. So today I want to show you how to root and unlock a Samsung Galaxy S3 or a Samsung Galaxy S1. So you can use this tutorial for both devices so there's no difference. And all you need to have is just a computer with internet connection and a USB cable to connect your phone to the computer. And now when you get those things, let's get started with the tutorial. So the first thing you have to do is enable USB debugging on your device. Therefore you go to settings. Then here at settings you scroll down until you can see applications, so just tap at it. And here at applications just tap at development. And here on the top you should see USB debugging, so just make sure that the box right to USB debugging is ticked. And now on the computer you have to download a few things. So the first thing you have to download is the Odin flashing tool, which we will need to flash the device. And just be sure to download the latest version, which is currently 3.0.9, because this is exactly what I'm using here in this video. And as always, the download link for this is in the description. And the second thing which you have to download is the Chainfire Auto Root Zip. So there are two versions, one for the Samsung Galaxy S1 and one for the Samsung Galaxy S3. So just be sure to download the correct version for your device. And as always, the download link is in the description. And when you have downloaded those files, you will see that those files are zip files. That means you have to extract them. And I would recommend that you download and use the tool WinRAR. All you have to do is just do a right click on the zip file, go to extract here, and then you will get the file which is in the zip file. Now when you have done that, you will have a chainfire.txt tar file it's really important that you have a tar file and not a zip file and you will have a odin.exe file and now before we start the flashing process we have to bring our phone in downloading mode okay so now make sure that your device is powered off and now you have to press the volume down key the home button and the power button exactly at the same time and hold it for a few seconds so let's try this and there we go and when you do this exactly at the same time, then you will see a screen which says downloading mode. And now you can take a USB cable and connect your phone to the computer. And now on the computer, you have to run the Odin flashing tool. Just be sure to run it as administrator. So do a right click on it and go to run as administrator. And here on the left top corner, you will see that your phone is connected and some COM port. And just make sure that repartition here is not checked. And then you go to AP, which stands for PDA in the old Odin versions. And here you have to browse for the cfroot.tar file. Make sure that it is a tar file, otherwise this program will not recognize it. And now just hit the start button to start the flashing process. So this can take up to 10 minutes. Just be patient, do not turn off your phone and don't disconnect it. Just leave it alone until Odin says pass. And after a reboot and some time, Odin will say pass. Now we can safely disconnect your phone, exit the Odin flashing tool, because the rest of the installation will take place on the device. Okay, so we're now here on the device, and now let's see if this device has root access. So let's open up applications. And now let's swipe to the right, and somewhere here you should see the super user app. And now let's go in the super user app, and let's see if it works. So there we go. And when you run this app for the first time, you will get this message here. So it will say the super user binary needs to be updated. So just press continue and then it will install the update. And when this is done, be sure to reboot your phone. When you have rebooted your phone, you have to go to the Play Store and download the Galaxy S Unlock app and BusyBox. So both are needed for the unlock. And now let's open up the Galaxy S Unlock app. So there we go. And now you will get this message here where you have to grant the app root access. So just go to grant and if you want to go to ask me again next time. And there we go. So we're now here in the Galaxy S Unlock app. And if you have a Galaxy S1, you have to go to unlock. And if you have a Galaxy S3, you have to go to unlock Samsung Galaxy S3. And now let's go to unlock and let's tap at C SIM unlock code. And let's see if this works. So there we go. Just hit the yes button. And maybe you have to grant root access once again. So let's wait a second. Okay, so I have to do it, so let's grant it once again, and there we go. And now it is searching for a unlock code. And if it found the unlock code, then it is good and you can enter it. And if you get FFFFF like me, you have to do the second step. But before you do the second step, make sure that you do a backup at the first step. So just go to save actual EFS folder and hit the yes button. And this can take up to a few minutes and then you will get the message done and it is saved. And now you can press the OK button and tap at step 2, which is SIM unlock. And this can also take some time, so just be patient. 
Here hit the yes button and then wait a few minutes until the sim unlock is done. And when this is done you will get this message here, so if the signal work use step 3 and if the signal does not work restart your phone and use step 3. So I have currently no sim card in my phone so this is why I will make a cut here, insert the sim card and then we will continue. I have now inserted the sim card into the Galaxy S1 and as you can see the signal is here. So to finish the unlock all you have to do is just run step 3 and then you are done. And if you have a Samsung Galaxy S3, you have to go to the tab which says Unlock SGS3. So just tap it here. And this is still better and a little bit buggy. But if you have problems, wait 5 minutes. And if you get a black screen, then it is normal. And um, click the wait button if you have an Android message. So here you just have two steps. So just run the first one to make a backup of your files. Then do the sim unlock and if you have problems you can restore your saved EFS folder. So pretty easy if you do it in the correct order and follow the instructions exactly. Okay guys, so we're now at the end of this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and if you have any questions just feel free to ask and leave a comment under this video and I will try to reply as soon as possible. So as always guys, thanks for watching and I hope I see you again in my next videos. Bye guys.